It's a bit addictive, actually, to tell you the truth. When you have a family and you're up here painting away, I could find myself here till one or two o'clock in the morning and, and, uh, and still think the girls are still up. But then I realize it's pitch dark outside and I've been up here for about six hours. It definitely is important for me to create every day, whatever it is, whether it's sculpting or drawing or, or painting. Um, it's kind of an important part of my life. Fogo Island is a very kind of magical place. It's, it's an island off an island. So uh, we've got a number of different communities around here which all kind of form one Fogo Island. But uh, each community is different in its own way. That's good to do that. So the kid, this morning the kids were going to, you could see them with their backpacks on going to school and their skidoos. For my paintings, my inspiration comes from my surroundings. So uh, I live on Fogo Island and, and it's, it's, I mean, full of inspiration when it comes to the, the scenery, the people. Um, I love the fishing stage. That's something you'll see predominantly in a lot of my work. And it uh, kind of reflects the, the perseverance and, and uh, the strength of, of of I guess the people on the island and in Newfoundland, um, East Coasters in general. I mean, it's this a perfect little uh, metaphor for for those things, right? And uh, it's become my muse in all of my work. So yeah, I, I really I'm kind of lucky as an artist to be living exactly in the middle of my inspiration. All I got to do is look out the window. And I love having my own my own space to paint because I went so many years painting in my kitchen and painting in the living room and destroying the house. So now I get to actually contain my mess to one spot, which is wonderful and it saves my marriage. Well, I wanted the studio space to be connected to the house just for the um, simple fact of I wanted to be able to do my artwork, and then also have a, a family life. It's really like a psychological thing, right? That's why I, I designed this as well with a little patio on the, on the back, so that we could uh, yeah, can go out and take a break and get a breath of fresh air and, and kind of look, look across the, the landscape and, and be re-inspired. So, I mean, this, yeah, I mean, the studio, and then downstairs is the gallery. So I've, I pretty much have it all. I'm, I'm pretty spoiled now as an artist. But it took a while to get here. It never came overnight. Overall, for me, I've been really supported by the community here at Fogo Island, people from Fogo Island, um, people from all over the East Coast and New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, all across Canada, really have supported me to the point where I can consider this my career now. So I'm very thankful for, for the support and the, um, the help that I've gotten over the years.